So, in order to make a symbolic link, uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is uh, go to the June Cloud website and download the uh, suite of automator actions that they have uh, have made. So, we download uh, DMG, pop open the DMG, and uh, you can double click to install these actions. So you want to do create symbolic link, uh, install, I've, I already have it installed, so I'm selecting to replace it. Um, and then what we're going to do is go into uh, Automator and start a new workflow. And we can find the uh, symbolic link action uh, that we've made under files and folders next to the uh, finder icon. So uh, in order to set up that link, um, I'm going to go into my uh, Dropbox and find the folder uh, that I want to uh, store in two places. So this is the Assets folder. So I'm going to drag that into the Automator window, and it, it's just a shortcut for the correct path for the folder. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do once we have that pathed correctly in there drag the create symbolic link action over um, and then this is going to set up kind of a, um, a procedural uh, set of instructions that's going to happen here so it gets the specified uh, assets folder it's going to then create a symbolic link and here in the where drop down we're going to pick where we want this to go and I'm going to select the, uh, the project folder that uh, I need this assets folder to live in and then source inside of there. Uh, you can see here I already have one of these set up. Uh, if I go to the actual project folder uh, I can go into source and I have my symbolic link already set up. To remove it I'm just gonna delete it because uh, we're gonna set it right back up. Uh, so you can see here's the original folder. Uh, here's the folder where I want my assets symbolic link to live so I select source and then once I'm done with that I hit run and it runs through this workflow and creates the uh, the symbolic link and now at this point we don't actually need the um, the workflow anymore we don't need to save it for any reason uh, because the, the work has already been done and as we see now we've got a assets folder inside of our source folder uh, and that allows um, your, in this case, Flex Project to uh, target those assets without having to have them in your sor source folder for uh, uh, and put under version control.